Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two, guys. I'm happy you joined me today. We're going to do a little experiment. If you've been following my videos, you know that I did a, uh, a swipe last week using the Amsterdam pouring medium, and it was explosive, beyond belief explosive. And I immediately ordered some more Amsterdam pouring medium because I had to test it again. Now, in that pour that I did last week, I did use the Artist Loft white paint that apparently is having issues. Uh, Sweet Canella had uh, done some experimenting and found out that uh, there was something new and different about that new Artist Loft soft body paint. So um, I want to give it another go. I want to give it another go and compare it to the usual pouring medium that I use when I do my swipes. So we'll talk about that. Our canvas, 20 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And like I have told you before, you have two orientations with a 20 by 24. You have it um, horizontally or you have it vertically. We're doing it vertically today because I want to see a little bit more of my base coat, which means if our swipe line is in the middle and I swipe down this long ways, most of the paint's gonna run off before it hits the bottom. So it's going to leave more negative space for me to enjoy and we've got a beautiful base coat today. If we do it horizontally, we have less of a distance to travel with our paper towels, so it will hold on to more of the paint on your uh, swiping tool, which for me is a damp paper towel. So we're gonna be doing it this way, guys. Let's talk about the paints and what we're doing with this experiment. My good friend Courtney Hauscher, who does not live far from me, had given me six bottles of pre-mix golden paints. This was golden iridescent gold fine, and I have two jugs of this, and I want to use it up. So do not freak out, but this is our base coat today. This is golden iridescent fine in the flow acrylics it's all pre-mixed i did strain it because it had been sitting a while and courtney's pouring medium is a little bit thinner than mine so this is what i believe is 25 percent floetrol and 75 percent gac 800 GAC is thinner than Floetrol, so this is thinner. But that's okay because that's going to be our base coat color. Let me put this down, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our experiment. It's simple, it's easy breezy, but I need to do it for me. We have two sets of paints here. This right here is the golden iridescent gold in the fine. This right here is the golden iridescent pearl in the fine and fluid paints, I'm sorry. This right here is our treasure gold by Folk Art. That is the Mayan gold in both of these cups. This right here is Modern Masters in the Antique Bronze, but I kicked it up a notch by adding just a little bit of the Burnt Sienna to it. It just kind of rich richened it up and gave it a really nice kind of warm terracotta feel into it. And this right here is the Q Word, the Golden Fluids Nickel Azo Gold, and I added to that as well some of the golden fluids in the burnt sienna. All these paints are going to be listed, guys, in the description box for you. You just tap on the title and a window opens up and gives you all kinds of good information. Now, the only difference between these two paints, if you look on these cups, they all have an A on them.
all of these paints right here are mixed strictly with the Amsterdam pouring medium. Now, I did need to add a little bit of water into the Modern Masters paint because it's a medium body paint, as well as the Treasure Gold in the Mayan Gold. These are a little bit heavier bodied than my fluid paints, so these two paints both got a squirt of water to bring them down to the consistency of my golden fluid paints. All of these paints are mixed with the Amsterdam pouring medium. All of these paints are mixed with my regular swipe pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol and 50% Golden GAC 800. So, I don't know if you can see this right here, that says Amsterdam. <laughs> So, I'm going to draw a line down the middle. The top of this swipe is going to be with the Amsterdam pouring medium. The bottom of this swipe is going to be with my usual swiping pouring medium, 50% Golden GAC 800, 50% Floetrol. So, I need to do this for myself. I need to see if this Amsterdam pouring medium's got some special ingredient which causes the cells to explode. So that's what we're doing, guys, doing it for me, but I'm sharing it with you all. So let's put some tunes on, guys. Let's get busy. <laughs>
interesting is that? <laughs> I am not a scientist, guys, by any means. Um, but I have no doubt that there is some type of oil in this Amsterdam pouring medium. I mean, you can see even right here in this little section, I accidentally grabbed a little bit of the pearl mixed with the Amsterdam pouring medium as I started to uh, do my swipe and it started to create the cell, same type of cell formation as this. Now that's very cool. It almost has like a leopard animal kind of uh, look to it. But um, for those of you who like Omega Cells, this is your ticket. <laughs> Now, what I am going to do, and guys, I uh, you can't read the in ingredients on this bottle, so um, I will reach out to the folks at Amsterdam to see if uh, they'll respond to my question, but there's either some type of silicone oil, maybe some linseed oil, there's some type of oil in the Amsterdam pouring medium, so I guess they created it, um, you know, to appeal to the uh, fluid artist out there and kudos for them. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fix the bottom half of this painting to see what it does by putting a new swipe line down with the paints that have the Amsterdam pouring medium. My guess is it will create cells, but they'll probably be a little bit smaller because they're um, on top of this existing paint. And then what else I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two cups and I'm going to mix them together, which means we will have half Amsterdam pouring medium in a cup and half GAC 800 and Floetrol. And I'm going to see if that creates um, milder cell formation. So, fun little experiment, guys. So, when I did do that swipe technique last week, I believe that the Amsterdam pouring medium played a big part in those explosive, out-of-control cells, but I also believe that the Artist's Loft white paint paid, pl play, ugh, played a big part part as well guys. So let me go ahead and finish up this painting so it looks like something pretty. This is actually this bronze here is phenomenal. It just is shimmering and uh, absolutely gorgeous. Let's fix this guy and then we'll move on to our next experiment guys. Mm -hmm.